Well, for many people, the holiday season is one of the happiest times of the year, but with the stress that is often accompanied by, it can also be a dangerous time for our hearts. In fact, the risk of a heart attack is 5% higher than the week of Christmas. Well, joining us this morning is Dr. John Cantazaro with UF Health. So first off, uh, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. All right, well, we can't see you, but we can hear you for sure. So let's just start with what is holiday heart syndrome? The holiday heart syndrome has been around since 1978 when it was first described. Um, doctors are actually still trying to find out exactly how alcohol affects the heart. But um, essentially when one tends to imbibe or, or have excessive alcohol during the holiday season, they can then suddenly develop a rapid chaotic heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation. Wow, so who is at risk for uh, this syndrome? So the risk actually goes up with age. So by the time uh, people are 80, they have about a 10% chance of having the condition. Um, there are other risk factors. You're more likely to have atrial fibrillation if you are tall. I think one uh, study found that people around 5 foot 7 inches were at increased risk or above. Um, obesity and family history uh, are also risks for holiday heart syndrome and atrial fibrillation when combination with alcohol binging. And I'm curious, does holiday food have any impact on this? I know we tend to eat a little bit worse, especially during holidays like Christmas and, and other celebrations. I, do, I, think the, I think the amount of food, um, when one tends to eat quickly, um, in combination with foods that may contain chocolate, which um, can have cocoa, a caffeine derivative, uh, which really ramps up the nervous system, um, can actually increase the risk of atrial fibrillation during the holidays in combination with alcohol as well. Wow. So let's talk a little bit about some of the symptoms we should look out for uh, with holiday heart. What do those look like exactly? So just, just getting the feeling of something being off and, and feeling like you're not right, I think, um, should have one uh, take a step back and think about um, what, what's going on. Common symptoms of atrial fibrillation include fluttering of the heart, palpitations, feeling like their heart's beating really fast or pounding. Uh, a lot of patients describe it as a, a fish flopping around in their chest, um, but it, it varies from person to person. Okay, so what steps can we take to better protect our heart this uh, holiday season? So limiting the amount of alcohol one consumes uh, may help protect the heart, uh, but for those who choose to drink, there are a few ways to stay heart healthy. Um, Definitely hydration. If you're drinking over the holidays, make sure to have a full glass of water between each beverage because dehydration increases the risk of holiday heart syndrome. Um, do not or try not to skip medication. Many people leave their heart or blood pressure medications behind in the, in the shuffle of traveling to see family and friends, thinking they can go a few days without them. But it's important to keep taking medication as scheduled. Um, in addition, find time for fitness, uh, moderate exercise may help buffer against atrial fibrillation. And then finally, as hard as it sounds, um, try to manage stress. Um, stress can play a devastating role in increasing the risk of cardiac events. But um, when you're around, I think uh, the most important thing to do is if you notice something is off, um, seek medical attention. All right, well, thank you so much, Dr. John Cantazaro. It was a pleasure having you on this morning. Thank you again. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.